So I recently just upgraded to a Tesla wall charger. And before the upgrade, I used to park my Tesla on that side of the garage since the charge port is on the same side as the outlet, making it really easy for me to just get out and plug my car in. So when it came time to upgrade the charger, I had to call an electrician to have it installed on the wall. The thing is, the further away you install the charger from the electrical box, the more expensive it is. And since I like to save money, I had the electrician install the charger right next to the electrical box. But the problem is, not only is it more inconvenient for me to plug in my charger since it's now on the opposite side of the car, this is also my current situation. And that is not good. Luckily, I found a solution by the name of EV Hover. And today, we're gonna unbox it, get it installed, use it, and I'm gonna tell you what I think. All right, let's go. This is the EV Hover, an EV cable management system that features an extendable swivel arm that lets your charging cable hover over you and your car instead of cluttering your garage floor, preventing trip hazards and dirtying your cables. It works with all EV cables and can be used with other types of cables as well. I want to thank Mike from EV Hover for sending this product out to me because as you can see, I really needed a solution. I just received the package, so let's open it up and see what we have in the box. First, we have the EV Hover itself, which is made of powder coated steel and seems to be of great quality. Then we have the bracket to mount the EV Hover to the wall, and this box includes the instruction manual, zip ties, and the mounting hardware. There's also a level included as well. All right, so now that we got it unboxed, let's go get this thing installed. From the instructions, it looks like it's pretty easy and any average person can do it. So let's not waste any time and let's get right to it. First, we'll need to mount the bracket onto the wall. To do this, you'll need to first find the right location for the bracket, making sure it will line up with your charge port and also can unfold without hitting your garage door. The EV hover can be installed into brick, stone, and concrete. But if you're installing into drywall, you'll need to make sure it's installed into a beam. Make sure the bracket is in the right orientation with the lip pointing downward, then use the included level to mark the three holes. Make your pilot holes with a drill bit and screw in the included screws. After that, you'll attach the EV hover arm to the bracket by installing it at a slight angle downward so that the lip of the bracket slides into the insert on the arm. Then push the arm completely flush to the wall and screw in the included screws and tighten them with an Allen key. Now we'll attach our charging cable to the arm by first fully extending the arm, then run your charging cable along the arm using the included zip ties, which insert through the pre-made holes on the bottom of the arm. Make sure you leave some slack so you can easily pull your cable through and adjust it to the right length so your cable easily reaches your charge port. This is optional, but once I found the right length, I tightened the zip ties so that the cable can't slide back and forth and also gives it a neater look. Okay, we have the EV hover installed. Now it's time to put it to use and see if it can solve my messy situation. Let's go. The EV hover extends six and a half feet and can be mounted as high on the wall as needed. As you can see, I have mine's placed at the perfect position. After pulling my car in, instead of searching the floor for the head of the charger cable, I can just simply walk over and extend the EV hover, letting me plug up hassle-free. And my passengers can now get out safely without worrying about tripping over the charging cable, which also creates a safe walkway if you have your charger on the same side as your charge port. And lastly, I don't have to worry about running the cable over when I'm backing up, which I have done before. When I'm done, I just simply unplug the cable, put it back on the EV hover and fold it back up. So as you can see, the EV hover did exactly what it's supposed to and solved my charging cable nightmare. Here's what I like about this product. The installation was straightforward and took less than 20 minutes. And the product is very easy to use once installed. It's a great idea that gets the job done. Now, there are some improvements that I would like to see made. The first, since the arm is so short, I need extra cable at the end of the EV hover arm so that it can reach my charge port. The problem is, once the charger is on the hook, that additional wire hangs down and rests on my car. The only way I can prevent this is by holding up the cable when extending the arm or by wrapping my cable around the arm. But some cables may be too thick to be wrapped or folded. The next improvement I would like to see is another option instead of using zip ties. 
The zip ties work well, however, it feels a bit cheap in my opinion. And if you plan on using the EV hover with a mobile connector and you need that mobile connector for say a road trip, you'll need to cut all the zip ties to remove the cable. I think the use of something like hooks would be a better option. But other than these two minor issues, I think the EV hover is an awesome product as it definitely does what it intends to do and completely solve my messy cable situation. If you have something similar to my charging cable situation, I like to help by giving you $50 off the EV hover in either black or white right now using my code MikeSeuss at evhover.com or by clicking the link in the video's description. Shipping is free. And I also want to mention that the EV hover comes with a limited lifetime warranty. Oh, and before I forget, if you're using a mobile connector, you can also get this adapter wall bracket, which neatly holds the mobile connector off the ground as well. So what do you think? Will you be picking one up? I love to hear your thoughts in the comments. All right, that wraps this one up. If you found this content useful, give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Tesla content. Until next time, peace.